let's say that we are told that 495 is equal to 621 minus blank. What would blank be? Pause this video and see if you can figure that out. Okay, now let's do this together. And one technique is to try to visualize this on a number line. 495 is what you get when you subtract something from 621. So let me put those two numbers on a number line. So let me do the number line like this. So we're gonna start at 621 and subtract blank to get to 495. So if this is 621, we're going to subtract some amount to get to 495. So let's say this right over here is 495. Now what amount did we subtract? So here we are subtracting blank. That's my blank over there. And so we need to figure out what that is. So how do you go from 621 to 495? Well, one way that my brain does it, first we can subtract 21 to get to 600. So let me do minus 21 would get us to 600. Then we could subtract another 100 to get to 500. So then we could subtract another 100, so minus 100, to get us to 500. And then to go from 500 to 495, we would subtract another five. So to go from 621 to 495, and I picked these numbers intentionally. I picked 21 to subtract to get to 600. I picked 100 to get to 500, and then I picked five to get to 495. I subtracted a total of 21, then I subtracted 100, then I subtracted five. So I subtracted 100, I subtracted 21, and I subtracted five. And so how much did I subtract in total? So let me put it this way. This is the same thing as 621 minus these things. That's equal to 495. So in total, let's see, if I subtract 21 and I subtract five, that is subtracting 26. And so I subtract 126. So I subtracted a total of 126. So 495 is equal to 621 minus 126. Let's do another example. Let's say we want to figure out if we, if someone tells us blank minus 435 is equal to 210. What is blank in this situation? Well, this is a little bit different now because now we're not trying to figure out what to subtract from the larger number. In this situation, we're trying to figure out the larger number. The larger number minus something is equal to 210. But as always, it's useful to draw this on a number line just to make sure we're thinking about things in a reasonable way. So we're going to start at blank, take out 435, and then we're going to get to 210. So we're starting here. Maybe I'll put a question mark there so we know that point. We're starting there. We are subtracting 435. So that's minus 435, and we are getting to 210. So to figure out blank, we could go the other way around. We could start at 210 and then just add, and then just add 435. So what's 210 plus 435? Well, there's many ways of doing it, but I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can work that out. Well, one way to do it is, First, we can add 400. I'm gonna do this in another color just for a little bit of a variety. So first I'll add 400. So if I add 400 plus 400, that would get us, let's see, if you add 400s to that, that would get you to 610. And then if I add 30 to that, so if I add plus 30, and I haven't drawn it exact, but this is just to help us think about things. That's three more tens, and I already have one 10, so 10 plus 30 is 40, so that gets us to 640. And then I'm going to add the five. So this right over here, if I add five to it, is 645. So there you have it. 645 minus 435 is equal to 210.